Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be showing you this other blower wheel that I recently got a couple days ago. Now, my parents decided to get a new air handler for this side of the house, actually a whole new air conditioning system, and I actually decided to tear the old air handler apart. And like this blower wheel here, I got this one here, and I'm going to be testing it on 120. They're both General Electric motors. You remember this one I showed in that one video. Well, today I'm going to be showing this to prove to you guys that this will work on 120 just fine. Now the key of getting this to work on 120 is air restriction. Just like I said in the other one, the key is air restriction. That's why there's this piece of wood here. This is optional if you want. I put this to adjust the airflow to go across the room like that. Make it go upwards, downwards on the floor, whatever you want, just like that. I'm going to get my standard 120 cord that I cut off an old treadmill like three years ago. 14 gauge cord with this end of the extension cord. And I'm going to prove to you guys that this is 120 just like that. Original capacitor too. No modifications at all, except this. High speed too, so look how fast it's even getting on 120. You can make it go downwards. You can make it slightly go upwards. Camera's not picking it up very well, but it spins really fast. If you ever want to make a movie and you, if you need one of these, just get one of these out of your air handle or a scrap yard. This will make a perfect wind scene in a movie. <laughs> All in a cute little stand. Well, I hope this video was entertaining and helpful to you guys that are that are new with blower wheels and the way to test them more and, uh, and subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up on this you can let me know what you think of these two blower wheels on the stand so good day everyone okay youtubers so today I'm going to be showing you different 240 volt motors running on 120 I'm just going to test them to see if they work for instance, this is one of those outdoor units, your condensing unit fan that I tore out of an outdoor condensing unit in my house because we're getting New York units. So I decided to save these parts just to play around with. So what I have going on up here, here's your standard HVAC capacitor. Now... Unfortunately, ignore Herm. We're not using Herm in my case, so we're not using that. So, what's going on here? See this white wire? That's your neutral wire. This is my neutral going up to this capacitor right here. This brown obviously connects to this fan right here, which is marked the fan label here. And then this is obviously the common going back to this motor here, but also jumps this motor to start. Just all on 120. Here's a little, that's a little help help to you guys out there that starting to test these motors out or wonder what the hell, is this thing gonna work or what on 120? So here's my Stanley yellow extension cord just running all the way out there. So I'm gonna fire this up in three, two, one. So, spinning in the right direction just like you normally would on a condensing unit outside. Except this is on 120. It is underpowered, so. It is what it is. And if you're wondering what the heck this dent is, the first tile fell on that a long time ago. But lightning struck my neighbor's house, so. And here's the fan on the other side. Camera doesn't pick it up really well, but it does produce a decent amount of airflow. 
Not as much as compared to those blower wheels there, but they're all 240. So the capacitor is important on 122, just letting you guys know if you want to test this stuff out or you have some old condensing units you want to play around with. I would recommend doing it to smaller motors, not these big motors right here. And be sure you're on a ground fall interrupt interrupting circuit such as GFCI receptacles. Or put on a power strip like that. Just to be sure it's working. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys that are wondering how how can I power this up and how to wire this to 120. It's all right here. If you enjoyed the video, you guys.